Welcome. In a previous video, I went over an FFmpeg workflow and I took these three video clips and I merged them together. So this is the original. And then this is the final. And I cropped them, I enlarged them, I uh, sped them up and added music to it. So to satisfy my curiosity, in this video, I'm going to compare uh, using FFmpeg to Final Cut. And I'm assuming that FFmpeg cut, I have most of the work done because I have the script here to do it. So ideally you would, you know, if you make notes, you'll have your, some different FFmpeg, like almost like recipes. And when you have a task to do, you can pull out that one recipe. So I'm gonna use my FFmpeg I created and then I will go into Final Cut and I'll do the same procedure to get essentially the same output. And at the end, I'm gonna compare, I'm gonna see you know, which one took longer. So let's get started. Okay, so I finished using both methods, and a lot of times passed since I started this video, I recorded the Final Cut Pro segment, and then I screwed up, so I had to re-record it. So I'm coming back to that from here. So we have the uh, two here. I renamed um, the first one, I called it FFmpeg, and then the second one here, I have it called Final Cut Pro. And you'll see there's a size difference. It's uh, 149, well, 150 meg versus about 380 meg. So let's open my terminal back up. Okay, so I'll do an FF probe on both of these files. So we can look at the differences here. So we have the video stream, no, this is the audio stream here. Let's get the audio stream over here. So for the audio stream, it's, uh, they're both at 44.1 uh, kilohertz. And the Final Cut Pro one is 121 kilobytes per second and the FFM pug is 128. So I mean, I could have adjusted that to be the same. So the audio on FFM peg is slightly better here, but that's probably a non-issue. Um, if we go down to the video here, and then the video here, we have um, H.264 on both of them. The same uh, pixel format is uh, YUV420P. They're both at 1280 by 720. And the data rates on these, we have uh, 13,000 kilobytes per second on Final Cut and 54.17 on FFmpeg. So I could have, you know, done a higher bit rate on here. Um, and then the frames per second is the same. It's 59.94 on both of these. So what I'll do now is I'll play uh, probably about 20 seconds of each of these clips. Uh, so you can look at the quality and then we'll come back to that. Okay, so now we've uh, done essentially the same process on both of these. So the question is, which one should you use? Um, and I don't think there's always a clear winner here. Uh, Final Cut Pro, I think, was a lot faster. But um, if you have the FFmpeg commands all figured out, um, and you do things on a regular basis, you can at times just run that script and then walk away, and you're done. You don't have to do anything else. You could also run the FFmpeg commands on Windows, a Raspberry Pi, a Linux. I mean, it's you can compile it for many different systems. So, um, you know, I think each tool has its own uh, strengths and strengths and weaknesses. So, um, that's all I'm going to cover on this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.